welcome back learners to Nizit Ma'am ke online classes. So today we are going to do chapter number 9 that is introduction to database of standard 11. So here you may be having a question what is database. Don't worry let me give you an example to enhance your concept about database. So a simple example is a phone book. Yes a phone book where you have contact details of your relatives, friends or second example can be bank transactions. Yes, your bank transactions which are recorded on passbook or another example we can have is when you go to the doctor, your diagnosis and treatment are stored in a database, right? Or company sales, that is the best example of database. So, let's get straight into the video and you will get the concept of database slowly and slowly. Next, so here in this video lecture, we are going to see different elements about database. So, DBMS. A big word right on your screens. Don't worry. DBMS stands for Database Management Systems. And there are different different elements also of it. Like data, information system, database management, information, database, RDBMS. So let's begin. So what does information system mean? So information system is day-to-day -day transactions in small and medium enterprises are recorded in systems termed as information systems. So this is the definition of information systems. So you have to remember it. So here, for example, you are recording daily transactions like you are paying rent or electricity bill or recording miscellaneous expense like paying for tea or snack, etc. That all day-to-day -day transaction of small to medium enterprises you have recorded in your diary. Okay. And now you may be thinking that what is the reason? What is the need to record all of these transactions? Then well, the answer is. This information system are used by manager in the management to take business decisions. Even most influential business and companies such as Google, Amazon, Facebook and other decides the future strategy based on their own information system. Even I can say YouTube, this platform itself is an information system. It collects knowledge from people all around the world in the form of videos. It processes it, it stores it in the database and when somebody search with the keywords such as database or dbms this youtube will suggest this video to the intended users okay now let's move to the advantages of information system the first advantage here is flexibility in accessing data irrespective of the places and where the data is stored so yes users expect flexibility in accessing data irrespective of the places they are at and irrespective of where the data is stored for example, if you wish to find out the details of trains, for that train inquiry, you are not supposed to go to the railway counter. But you can access the data easily even from home or office just because of the information system that provides flexibility in accessing the data, right? Second is replacement of registers and files. Yes, organizations now have become global and information systems are now not limited to storage and maintenance of enterprise transactions which were understood as replacement of registers and files maintained in organizations. Earlier, people were recording and maintaining the transactions in manual record keeping like registers and files. So that is now replaced by the information system which provides much more features other than storing and maintaining, right? That all features we will see further also. We can say world is being digitalized, right? So yes. Third is systems used by millions of users simultaneously. Yes, so this information systems used by millions of users simultaneously. For example, search engines. You are searching few terms on search engines. At the same time, I am also using search engines for surfing that allows multiple users to access the data at the same time. Other examples are reservation system for booking travel or hotel online banking for withdrawal, deposit or any kind of banking transaction also or online text filling, stock trading where multiple users can buy or sell shares at the same time, right? Fourth is taking decisions. Yes, information system today has also become a strong helping hand in taking decisions. So to take the best possible decision, everyone needs correct, precise and relevant information on time, right? And we know very well that information is the output generating through the processing of raw data. So here there comes a term of raw data. Don't worry, we will see what is data. So here all kinds of facts, 
figures and details related to people, places, things or events is known as data. So this is the definition of data. Yes, the definition of data is just like we are playing a game of name, place, animal, thing. <laughs> Joke apart. Now we will see form of data. So data will be in any form. Okay, it may be written, oral, computerized or non-computerized also. So now if data it can be through email also, oral that means through telephone or face-to-face -face communication, computerized means that can be through chat or social media platforms or non-computerized where computer is not used. Okay, data in its original form may not be of much use. But data must be processed in a proper way to generate the useful and meaningful information. Right now, I am delivering this video lecture that is data for you. Unless and until you try to process or understand it. Okay, for better understanding of data and information, here I would like to give an example to you. Have you, any of you seen the movie Three Idiots? Yes, you may have seen it, right? So in one of that scenes, Amir Khan wrote something on the board and everybody started looking in the books. And they were trying to search it and process it, right? So that was the data for it. Then they came to know that the word consists of the name of his two friends. The result obtained after processing of the data is information. Right now, also I am delivering the data to you with an expectation that I will get result in the form of good marks. That is the information for my data, right? The importance of data for decision making process Many business houses consider it as an important asset of the business. Yes, sometimes this data might seem small and insignificant, but one day it can be an absolute game changer, okay, for your organization the next. So telecommunication does the same, okay, telecommunication, what does it do? It sells your data to the concerned party in higher price. For example, it will sell your contact details to the concerned party and thereby you can get spam mails or unnecessary call on the basis of that data, right? Let's move further. Information can be described as the required result obtained from the processing of the data and which is known as processed data, okay? So the information is important because it forms the foundation for decision making. Yes, earlier we saw that decision making is the most important asset for any business or we can say any big company or anything. Yes, so database that means in short it is known as records or you can remember like that also that database in short collection of data. The data is related data. Okay, for example in a railway management system you may collect data related to passenger, timetable, arrival time, departure time. But car is not at all related to railway management system, okay? You might be going to railway station by auto. Even so, car is not basics of railway system anyway, right? So here are some examples. Diary, yes, address and phone numbers of relatives and friends. You get on that diary or we can see school, details of students enrolled in the school and attendance record. Other example can be Indian government issuing unique identification number to each citizen under the other yes you may have your own other card right passport office details of the issued passports doctors medical history of each patient in starting only i give this example to you right then there is railway department details of passengers or you can say details of departure time arrival time of the trains all of these are database that means records right in short now let's move to database and data model. Database we saw, right, collection of related data items stored in an organized manner. This is information of database, you have to remember it. And data model. Data model here says the underlying structure of the database is known as data model. It describes the way of storing and retrieving the data, okay. So data model is a structure to store database. In short, you can remember this. And here, relational model, there are three models basically, relational model, network model and hierarchical model. But here, relational means, relation means table, okay. And network and hierarchical model are there, but they are not included in your syllabus. So, we will focus on relational model. So, here, what is database management? So all tasks related to database handling is known as database management, okay. Tasks like adding data into the database as and when transaction takes place. For example, a customer has been came to your shop and a transaction is happening. So you 
take a data and you note it down in your database then editing the content of the database with the correction required as and when noticed okay you can edit removing unnecessary data from the database organizing the database in a proper manner then we have retrieval of data as per user requirement yeah whenever that customer will come again you have to see that record you have to open that records again and then you have to see that securing data stored in database yes maintaining backup of database allowing multiple users to access database simultaneously allowing data to be stored in multiple languages and allowing data to be stored at multiple places so here in short you have to get flexibility to that data right so all of these tasks come under database management so let's move further to database management system that is dbms so dbms can be defined as system designed for efficient storage maintenance and retrieval of data so all of the tasks which we learned before this softwares will be able to do all of those tasks so popular dbms softwares are oracle ingress db2 sql server mysql ms access base etc you you may be wondering why there is no a name of microsoft excel no let me tell you microsoft excel is not a dbms software okay it's not a database management system software and you have to remember this okay in mcqs they can ask so you don't have to correct excel okay next question is rdbms rdbms stands for relational database management system so base is relational database management system as it follows relational model the relational model is centered on the idea the organization of data into collections of two dimensional tables called relation so the relational model is centered on this idea the organization of data into collections of two dimensional tables called relation so as i told you earlier also relation in short table okay and it was designed by ef cord and relational model is based on the theory of sets and relations of mathematics so basically it depends upon the sets and relations of mathematics and a dbms that is based on relational model we can say that is based on table it is called as rdms that is relational database management system base is a collection of related data objects known as table queries reports and application models now again here there are new concept what is table query what is report what is application modules don't worry i'll explain you so here we have different database object so first we will see table so table is the basic unit for storing data in the database designed using base so tables are organized in the form of columns and rows entities are real world object now what is mean of entity entities are real world object take an example of railway management system entities are passenger trains prime time table arrival time departure time so all of these are entities okay each entity generally has a collection of attributes associated to it you have to remember this that attribute of entity are represented in the form of columns and uh, now you may be wondering how many tables you will need so it depends upon what you want to store in the database that many entities that means real world objects you will create okay next thing is form now what is form form is an object which allows entering the data in the table and editing or deleting existing data in the table so it's basically like table only you can edit the text you can add you can delete and it consists of format style and widgets that provides easy and systematic way to populate the table with data then you have query what is query as the word says queries means question right so a question asked within the database environment is known as query now report so the output of query in the base is displayed in the form of rows and columns so the presentation of the information in an organized and readable format as per the user requirement is known as reports okay very easy and very simple i hope you have understood it and i really request you if you have not understood our term also go back see the video and revise it and then come to the next concept okay that's all for today thank you so much and you have got this